<laughs> uh, I think it's easy to like look at old videos and like cringe. You've got to be prepared to make videos that you look back on like maybe five years in the future and you just cringe and you laugh at how bad they are. Oh, someone started that I look like a pigeon. So for like two months, I was had like people just posting pigeon emojis and saying I look like a pigeon. I love Filmora because it is so intuitive. So intuitive, so simple to use, so fast. Uh, I operate under uh, the idea that you should make one video for the bank and then one for the soul. Dang, you gotta post like every day. Even when you see like you gain like only 50 views, like you just gotta keep going, you gotta keep pushing yourself. It's probably scheduling and trying to avoid procrastination. I guess, you know, finding time for everything has been the biggest challenge. And I had to get out of my comfort zone because like I wasn't comfortable like dancing in front of like anybody, but now I can. Right, I think time management, uh, I think most creators struggle with that, but uh, I'm trying to be in college, maintain healthy relationships and be a creator. And part of that's, you know, improving the workflow, improving the tools that we use, like I say so often, you know, work smarter, not harder. I had to find time to do my schoolwork as well as also filming. I think it's about delegation, right? Like uh, hiring a few people onto your team, uh, time blocking. I put like the, a compilation, is basically a compilation of the funniest and the best moments that I had so far during this year. I got multiple school videos, but like I was in class, and they hit like 8.6 million, so I guess I was proud of that one. Uh, so for example, my past two videos are actually videos I'm pretty proud of. Uh, I surprised my friend uh, Ankit with a trip to Costa Rica, him and his friends. And then I made a high Q video, uh, which is doing super well, in, like view-wise. So that was for the bank. Um, and it kind of keeps me sane and kind of gives me direction. And I'm proud of those two videos. Is the big ultimate critique on Elden Ring. That video has been months in the making hundreds of hours of work. That's one where I'm particularly proud because so much work has gone into it. I did a video about a year and a half ago and it was a point of view about like women's challenges in you know the real world and stuff and it's been like featured in a lot of like empowering women campaigns and so I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> My personality I guess because like I, I love to be myself. Is probably for one, I take a very academic approach. I think people find it, for one, easier to follow and people who um, appreciate that clarity appreciate it even more so because not many gaming YouTubers out there uh, were trained or, or taught to make gaming videos in a classical way. I think what makes mine different is I try to come up with new stories with each video, new storylines. I stick to a lot of romance, and I think it's just, you know, a fun, silly channel to make people get, dis not really distracted, but helps them disconnect from real world problems. The way I move, I don't see people move like me. The headbands, the masks, and just like, the way I dress as a whole. So I have a very unique way in which I tell a story, and I'm not trying to fit an algorithm, and I think, not everyone can do that, obviously. It's a lot harder to do that than it is to like make a commentary video or make a gaming video. Um, books. <laughs> I read a lot of books. I read a lot of romance books. I don't know, just TikTok as a whole. Because <laughs> you see people dancing there like all the time. From my head. The, the ideas come from, like come literally in my head, in my mind, and then I just make them happen in the video. I watched a lot of YouTube growing up, um, specifically people like Niga Higa and Bo Burnham, um, super big inspirations creatively. But what inspired me to dance as a whole was watching Lay's Twins, Ayo and Tail, and Michael Jackson. Like, those are my inspirations. <laughs> uh, I think it's easy to like look at old videos and like cringe. You've got to be prepared to make videos that you look back on like maybe five years in the future and you just cringe and you laugh at how bad they are. Yeah, maybe a little cringy at the very beginning, but I think we've gotten better. 
Yeah, I, I don't try to look back at any of the old ones. I didn't like them. Um, even when I first started dancing in public, you could tell how like nervous I was. It makes me appreciate, you know, the, the years that have gone by and all the little tips and tricks and um, improvements we've made. I I am uh, I'm happy. I uh, it's uh, definitely memories, but I, it, they always put a smile on my face. That's for sure. It's it's very humbling. I think above and beyond everything else. Uh, actually, yes. I've wanted to go and revisit some big games that we've talked about before. Um, for example, The Witcher Three. Yes, yes. I would re I will. I would consider remaking some of them. Oh yeah, I kind of did. So like, the eight million uh, view video. Like I made that like. I remember exactly when I first started, like February 2021, whatever. It looks so stiff compared to like how I did it now. And then I hit it again, like I did the dance again, and then boom, it just blew up. It just went crazy. I kind of do that here and there. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing it a little bit more often. Uh, but like, I made a video in high school where I dressed up as like a king and had like my friends dress up as like a knight and a horse. Uh, I remade that my freshman year of college, so like one year later. Uh, and I plan on kind of doing similar things to that. The biggest thing is stay humble and understand that you're going to make mistakes and that's totally okay. You learn a lot more from the mistakes than you do from the successes. I always say lighting in your background. Um, make sure it's like steady, I guess. And then yeah, post consistently as much as you can. You got to post like every day. Even when you see like you gain like only 50 views, like you just got to keep going. You got to keep pushing yourself. Be yourself, like be who you are. Uh, when you create content. You don't need to have the nicest camera. Uh, you don't need to do anything industry standard necessarily. I think it's like super important that you just find your style, you find what's efficient for you, what works best, and you kind of do it. Hey, everybody, everybody out there, all you need is a phone. I still use my phone. You can upload a full unedited video uh, and it can do well. So don't think otherwise, be yourself. Uh, obviously think about what people are gonna like, but you know, it doesn't mean having the nicest things in the world. I use one feature from uh, Demo Creator. Um, it's the um, like the drawing pen, you know? Uh, but I like to use a lot of green screen assets and kind of put them in, uh, add a little bit of spice. Probably the blur effect. Um, I just started kind of using that one and I just like, my face would be, I guess, the most prominent, maybe conceited, but. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even edit. <laughs> uh, again, like the one thing that uh, I like about, the, about Wondershare is like, at the top, you could like go to the search bar and then like look up everything, right? I'm sure there's gonna be something in there that works for every creator. I got recognized in, in the VR chat. Uh, there are like this public words, and uh, I got recognized so much there uh, in 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 VR, of course, in VR chat. Um, but in the public, in real life, uh, since I live like in Italy, um, I think. I think it happens, it happened like once. Yeah, actually, especially in um, Colorado, because no one, you know, does stuff like that. So I was just walking like in the mall and like these kids just recognized me. In high school, I, I transferred to my, uh, my school my senior year and then I blew up. So I was like, you know, this new kid to like the YouTuber. I think like maybe it was like a year ago. So yeah, I got first recognized in the mall, getting shoes. <laughs> and somebody came, I think it was actually the clerk. He was like, are you life of adding? I was like, yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> I think just being able to create different stories, and that's what I like to do, is just make people forget a little bit and have a little fun. I would say being able to turn kind of anything into a video. This game to other people that I know. And getting connections, like one of my idols just followed me. So like that was fire. It definitely completely changed my life. And being like free to do whatever, like create whatever you want. I can organize myself like I want to and also at the same time express myself and do and, and um, make my passion like uh, part of what I do as a job.